1969, the world watched in wonder as Neil Armstrong took that momentous first step onto the surface of the moon. We gathered 50 years later at the Hollywood Bowl to hear how that historic achievement inspired Hollywood and its composers to bring the sounds and experiences of life in the space age to the screen. From the tense anticipation of launch, to patriotic swells for a mission accomplished, to the disorienting vastness of outer space. Our neighbors from the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena will join us on this musical excursion to help tell the story of how we got to the moon and show where we're headed next. In the beginning, however, our future achievements were far from guaranteed. Sputnik, with its taunting beeps, shocked the world, as did America's attempt to match the Soviet accomplishment. America's first attempt to launch a satellite a six-and-a-half-inch sphere weighing just over three pounds was checked out by scientists and declared ready. What happened is already unhappy history. After the spectacular figure was dubbed Flopnik, President Eisenhower turned to JPL, managed by Caltech, and the Army's rocket team led by the Lord of Andron. This is what they've been waiting for. Deadline is 90 days. 90 days to put a satellite into orbit. JPL provided the satellite. Von Braun's team, the main rocket. The mission worked. Explorer 1 made the very first space science discovery. The Van Allen radiation belt that circles the Earth, protecting us from harmful solar particles. That was in January 1958. Six months later, NASA was created and the space race was off and running.